Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Francis Mason. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cinematic matte effect for your portraits and you can use this for portraits, landscape, weddings, um, still life photography, whatever it is, this effect will work perfectly for you. And this is like if you're going to be on the internet, everybody is putting like a matte effect on your pictures and I'm not saying it's wrong. It's fantastic. It looks great. I do it sometimes. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now the best way to do this is by using your curves adjustment layer. I know you can do this by using your levels and I know a lot of people do it by using their levels, but I just feel like the best way I do it is by using a curves adjustment layer. So let me show that to you. Now, all you have to do is create a curves adjustment layer above your image right here. Now, let me explain what your curves do to you. You see up here, these are your highlights. So when you work on your the top part of your curves, you know, it affects your whites, your highlights, basically. When you work down here, uh, where you are okay right here. when you work down here it affects the blacks in your images which is your um, your shadows right and when you work at the middle here basically your mid-tone so basically like a mixture of your highlights and your shadows so that is your curve adjustment layer so all you have to do is create a curve adjustment layer create three anchor points in your curves adjustment layer right here on your RGB. So right here, right here, and right here. After doing this, I'm just gonna make this straight. Come down here and pull up your blacks. And you get a fantastic matte effect. So this is how to create a pretty simple matte effect. Now after doing this, if you want to add a little more color to it, make it look a little more cinematic, all you have to do is come to your reds, create the same anchor points that you created before. One, two, three. So after creating these three points, come down to your blacks again. Because right now, to do this, we're just working basically on our blacks. Then pull your reds up a little bit, you know, add some little reds into your the blacks in your images, then green. We're going to do the same thing for this. Create three points. Come down here. Pull up our greens just a little bit. Then for our blues, we'll do the same thing. One, two, and three. Then we'll come down here and pull up our blues. Just probably add more blues to this. Yes. And yes, this is as simple as it gets. So this is our before and this is our after. Now you really do not have to go this crazy. I'm literally just showing you. And after doing this, if you want to reduce it, you can just come down here and reduce your past, you know, till the level that you want. And your picture looks good. Simple, easy, straight to the point. You can add a little contrast to this. And how I do that is by creating the black and white adjustment layer. Probably bring my reds down to eight, my yellows to 131. And um, yeah, it depends. You can just adjust it till you get what you're looking for. And when you change this, to soft light, change my blend mode to soft light and my opacity back to about 20%. Just add a little contrast to it. And this is good. This is this is good. We can also add um, a vignette to this right here. Just going to add a vignette to this black. Basically, so what I did is um, I picked my gradient um, tool right here and I've changed um, the vignette type to the circle <laughs> basically i guess that's what i'm going to call it and um my foreground color is on black i create a vignette change my uh, blend mode to soft light and i'm just going to reduce the opacity just add a little vignette to it so yeah so this is this is it simple easy straight to the point and um good so i'm going to put all this in a group so i can show you guys the before this is the before and this is the after Beautiful cinematic matte effect for your images. You can use this for your portraits, weddings, fashion images, whatever it is, this will work perfectly. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video, do subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, um, turn on the notification button so you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. If you haven't subscribed and you're still skeptical, please subscribe and I'll probably change your mind in the future. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed this too. And let me know the kind of videos you want to see. Still working on improving my YouTube channel and bringing you guys a lot more content. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in another one. Peace.